This video is sponsored by Square Enix. If you want to learn more about the game, a link will be down below. Alright, so welcome to some Gravel. I am super stoked to be playing this game. I think I first heard about it around the time the Riders Cup DLC came out for MXGP3. So it's been a while, but uh, nonetheless, here it is, and we are checking it out. We are using this blue trophy truck racing in the stadium circuit i think is what this mode is called so there's a lot of stuff in the game and we're gonna go over it here and some of it here and uh talk about bits and pieces of it but this is probably my favorite part of the game i don't know okay maybe not favorite part but favorite mode and i don't know if that's because i love motocross and supercross and that we do a lot of that here on the channel so this kind of feels close to home but i love it and ironically enough, it's the most difficult part of the game for me. So the tracks are just right, and they have just the right amount of AI, at least for me, okay? Remember, this is coming from a guy that's, like, casual. Casual. I'm not, like, super pro at these games. Just very casual. So coming from a casual guy, the track feels just right, and it has, like, the right amount of AI on it for this specific kind of racing. So there's, like, there's eight AI, and... Even then, look, I'm always, I'm like bumping into him and hitting them. It's insane. And that AI likes to hug that inside line really, really hard. So they, it, it, sometimes it's really difficult to get around them. So you'll follow one of the AI around the track for multiple corners before you see an opening to, to try and pass him on the inside. Trying to pass him on the outside is not that easy. And this is just medium, okay? Keep that in mind. Medium difficulty. Again very casual off-road motorsports type of player here but medium difficulty was very challenging they put up a a fight they put up a good fight it was it was tough i mean look he's just really tight on that inside and then just drifts out enough to be able to hit the corner right and i think somewhere maybe here we're gonna dive inside and then kind of slam into him and get the pass and and you know and in, in this at least you got to do it. You got to slam into him and make that pass. And then he's just hounding us the whole rest of the race. So I loved it. I, I think it was just right. I mean, I think the difficulty settings were like very easy, easy, medium, hard. And then I think realistic. I'm not sure because I didn't go higher than hard, but I'm guessing realistic was an option. But just medium. I mean, the dude is hounding us like crazy, like making me nervous the whole time. If I make a mistake, even just a... I mean, a little mistake, maybe, like if you drift a little too much, but if you drift too much and you spin out completely, he's going to pass you. And the races are short, six laps. Like, that's the max laps that you can have for, at least for specifically for stadium circuit like this, was only six laps. And they're short, like under, I mean, our, la our best lap time is 34 seconds. So the really short race is really short laps. But I think that's what keeps it so intense is you don't have time to to get that big lead because it's such a short race. And... Uh, I think it only goes into third gear, so I think it's a three-speed, basically, is what we're, what our blue trophy truck is, and it was intense, but yeah, again, favorite mode, probably. It was really close between this and the, the rally mode in the game, which we will kind of jump over to here in just a second when this race, race, race finishes. Uh, I don't think it's called rally, though. I think it's called, uh, I don't remember what it's called now. But uh, yeah, so basically it's rally. And you can choose the time of day that you're racing. You can choose the weather conditions. So I think you can choose dawn, day, dusk, night. You can select snow, but only for the snow maps, obviously. Rain, and I think mud. I'm not 100% sure on that mud one, but I think you can do rain and, or I know you can do rain and mud. And so came here to this snowy track I guess it was a really short track and one that I kind of knew because not all the tracks I knew that well and so I struggled and was just like crashing into corners and I mean I do I do have my fair share of that here too but yeah you know I tried to have the best laps that I could and again the AI is on medium here and they stayed pretty close to us now you also can take off a lot of the riding aids I had basically all the riding aids enabled I'm not going to lie. Now, towards the end, I did, I was using like the manual transmission and I think I took the stability thing off. So I was in control of that and the joint brakes. So it was like half maybe, 
took some of the riding assists off, which made it a lot harder. But even with the riding assists, like, if you... It does have a, a handbrake. You can kind of tell when I hit that, there's a little red light that pops up on where the speedometer is there, and that little circle on the right, on the bottom right. There's a little red circle that pops up there by the number where the gear is, so you can kind of tell when I'm hitting it. Now, I didn't use it very much here. I don't even know if I did use it, but you do have a, a handbrake, and if you hit that too hard and then get on the throttle too early, even with the riding assist, you're going to spin out. Straight up, you're going you're gonna to spin out, and that's going to it's gonna ruin your lap. It's going to absolutely ruin that lap, and it's frustrating. Now, on the bright side of that, you do have a... A rewind you do have a rewind that goes back like 15 seconds or something like that 10 15 seconds 20 seconds which a lot of people don't like and don't use but they just kind of play it out but I kind of liked it at least for learning the game it's really nice because it does make it easier on yourself and this is a very arcade game it's a pick up and play kind of game everybody can pick it up and play it and there's not a huge learning curve but with being able to take the riding assist off and turn the AI difficulty way up is it will take time to learn the game especially if you're more of a new player and graphically the game is beautiful the environments are amazing i love racing around at night i just think it's so awesome it looks so good and the snow and the rain doesn't bother me it's not distracting you know it's it just i thought maybe it would be a little distracting seeing it on the window but it's it's not whether you're in first person or third person or whatever it looks really good the environments the cars look awesome and just an overall feel of the game feels really good. The drifting feels good, and it's not too hard to do. Again, because it's more of a arcade style of game where you can just pick up and play. So, yeah, I think we're coming to the close of this lap. That about does it for this video. The next one we'll come back and we'll be a little more thorough about what's in the game, the different modes and different uh, disciplines and stuff like that. So, thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing, and until the next video, take it easy.